Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. Jeremy from The New Age here. I am going to teach you today how to record your desktop audio on a Mac and get it into OBS. So let's get right into it. All right, guys. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to go to your search bar. The link will be in the description on this if you don't want to do this. So the link is in the description. But you are going to go to install this. And you, if you have Catalina, that's obviously the link you want. So I do. So I'm going to select that and download it. It's called I Show You Audio Capture. Seems like a lot, but it's really not, guys. It's super, super, super easy. Okay, so go ahead, drag this to your desktop like I like to do. You don't have to, just double click it and it's gonna open. Okay, so here's your window right here. You're gonna wanna double click on this uh, PKG file. It's gonna open up, just hit continue. Continue, continue. And then install. It's going to prompt you to enter your password or touch ID if you're on a MacBook. So I'm going to use the touch ID. It's going to run this script here. Extension block. Just hit open security preferences. Click the little lock down here. It's going to make you enter your password again. Go ahead and do that. And then hit the allow button. exit out of your security settings and now we're back to the installation usually takes a second to register updated components so just give it a little time here and it is done okay so updating the pre-boot volume this is all normal stuff this is what it's going through just this installation process does take a second and it was successful so now it's going to ask you to restart your computer this is normal go ahead and do that click that restart button and then now we're back okay so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your search tab you're going to go to audio midi setup okay you're going to see your i show you capture device what we're going to do is we're going to add a new multi output device okay this is important so you want to check both of those boxes your speakers and the i show you audio capture turn off drift, drift correction because we do not need it okay that's a very important step create multi-output device in the audio MIDI setup don't need the drift correction good to go okay so after that the settings up here just leave them as they are master device is going to be the I show you audio sample rate 44.1 is fine all right now let's go to your system settings you're going into your sound settings and you want to select the multi output device not the i show you capture okay so that's what we need to do that's basically going to enable us to put it into inject it into obs now let's open obs and here we go so there's two ways to basically put your desktop audio in here okay so I'm going to show you both of them. I'm just going to create a new scene so you can see what it looks like without any sources. All right. So you go to add the little plus sign down here an audio input capture. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to put desktop audio and hit OK. Now it's going to ask you to select the device. You want to put the I show you audio capture. Perfect. And basically what that multi-output device does is it outputs it to your speakers as well. So the I show you audio capture is just fine. And we're going to hit OK. This is the first way to add it. OK. This is what I like to do because I like to have a little more control over it. Not have it in every one of my scenes. OK. So second way. 
go to settings and your audio. You're going to go to mic auxiliary audio. Doesn't matter which one you chose. Click I show you audio capture and boom, there it is. Mic aux two. Okay. That's the other way to do it. Super, super, super easy. And let's test this out and see if it's actually working. So I'm going to open up iTunes here. I've been listening to a lot of St. John. So let's see if any of his tracks work. And for copyright issues, this will not be in this video, unfortunately. And it's not working. Let's go to the Apple Music. It's rendering my library. So go to Apple Music and just play the Roses remix, whatever. It doesn't matter. All right. And as you can see, working on both of the sources. Um, if you do add the mic aux, you, 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 I... I don't recommend it, but you can add it that way. I'm just going to mute it. And I'm just going to hide it, get it out of here. So as you can see, desktop audio is working perfect through OBS from a Mac. It is possible. Not exactly as easy as maybe it should be, but simple. It's working. We're good to go. So. So, and that's all there is to it, guys. It's very simple. Links are all in the description, as usual, uh, to get that I show you video or audio capture device. Um, very simple, very easy. I just did it on my MacBook because I didn't have it on my MacBook yet. I had it on my iMac, but not my MacBook, and I just did it in five minutes. So, very simple. Um, Check out the video on how to get how to get Discord on your PS4. Um, that's a really cool one. That's also dropping today. I'll have that uh, up on the top of your screen here. And thank you for watching. Give me a follow on Twitch. Give me a follow here on YouTube. On the on my personal YouTube page, I do all my gaming stuff over there. Um, so. Uh, once again, thank you for all the support. Thank you for watching. Smash that subscribe button, and we will see you next time. Peace.